New in vSphere 4.1 ESXi's local command line interface is now called Tech Support Mode and it's fully supported by VMware. Besides the local command line interface, there's also a remote command line interface called Remote Tech Support Mode that's accessed via SSH. Now you can configure Tech Support Mode and Remote Tech Support Mode in one of two places. First off, on the ESXi server direct console user interface or the DCUI, the local console of that ESXi server, if you go into troubleshooting options, you can enable tech support mode, remote tech support mode, as well as a remote tech support mode timeout period. You can also configure tech support mode and remote tech support mode using your vSphere client by connecting to vCenter, selecting the ESXi server, going to the configuration tab, and then down to security profile. Now let me show you how to configure both local and remote tech support mode in this short how-to video. Here we are on the console of an ESXi 4.1 server. I'm just going to press F2. I'll log in with my traditional root username and password. And then let's scroll down to the troubleshooting options here inside system customization. Now here you see some brand new options related to local and remote tech support. The first one is enable local tech support and that's the default. If you look on the right hand side you see where it says local TSM is disabled. So by default tech support mode is disabled just like in previous versions of ESXi. Now below that we have a new option which is enable remote tech support which is SSH and by default of course it's also disabled and then here's the third brand new option and that is to modify the tech support mode timeout. What this does is to set an amount of time before tech support mode logins are automatically disabled. Now once you're logged in you can stay logged in as long as you need to. So basically what the tech support mode timeout would do is to create a one-time use of tech support mode. You have to meet the timeout, you have to log in before that timeout runs out and then after that tech support mode is automatically disabled. So it's a great way to enable local Local tech support mode, use it and then it's disabled after that one time use as long as you were able to log in before the timeout ran out. So what we're going to do is to enable local tech support mode by pressing enter and then to access local tech support mode you hold down alt and then press F1. This brings you up to a login prompt and it's a visible login prompt unlike previous versions of ESXi. There's also not a big warning message that says that this is unsupported and you can actually see the characters that you're typing. So I'll just type in the root username here and my root password and here we go. It says that we've activated tech support mode. The time and date of this activation has been sent to the system logs and that's it. That's how easy it is to access tech support mode. You don't have to type the word unsupported anymore. This is a fully supported VMware command line interface. This is a very scaled down busy box console with a very limited command line set. There are, however, some very useful troubleshooting commands that you'll find inside this tech support mode interface. For example, if I cd into slash bin and type ls, from here I could do things like run vim-cmd, which has a lot of options. I can also use the VMware command, which can do a lot. I can go look at logs over in var log slash VMware. And here you'll find the host D log. There's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to troubleshooting a VMware ESXi server inside tech support mode. To log out, I just type exit and I'm back at the login prompt. To go back to the DCUI, I hold down alt and press F2 and here we go. This is where we enabled local tech support mode. Let's also enable remote tech support mode by pressing enter on that. And then let me open up my PuTTY SSH client and I'll type the host name for this server, ESX5, and press enter. Again, I'll log in as root, and there we go. We've accessed remote tech support mode. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and log out here. And finally, let's talk about the tech support mode timeout. By default, the timeout is zero, so basically there is no timeout. But best practices say that you should set some sort of tech support mode timeout, for example, 10 minutes, might be a good timeout to allow you to log in and use local tech support mode before it's automatically disabled. Now let's go ahead and disable local tech support mode and also remote tech support mode because what I want to do is exit out of this and then go over to the vSphere client and show you how to configure both of these over in vCenter. Now over here in vCenter I've selected the same ESXi server, ESX5, inside my vSphere client. To configure local and remote tech support mode I'll go up here to the configuration tab and then let's go down to the security profile. Now here inside the security profile you've got services. Notice that one of the services is local tech support mode and that here's remote tech support mode. This is new in vSphere ESXi 4.1. To configure local and remote tech support mode let's go up to properties 
and then take a look here at local tech support mode. To enable local tech support mode using the vSphere client, I'll just select it there and then click on options. What I would want to do here is to first manually start local tech support mode. And there we go. You can see that its status now is running. I'll say OK. And now local tech support mode is enabled using the vSphere client. To do the same thing for remote tech support mode, I'll select remote tech support mode SSH. Select the options here. I'll click start. And there we go. Remote tech support mode is running. And again, it's running there. I'll say OK. And we've just enabled local and remote tech support mode on this ESXi server. Let's double check it to make sure that it works. Here I can hold down Alt and press F1. Again, I can log in as root. And there we go. We've activated local tech support mode. I'll press Alt F2. I'll log into the DCUI. Go down to troubleshooting options. And there you can see that local and remote tech support mode are both enabled. And we did that using the vSphere client. To summarize, in this video we cover the new vSphere 4.1 ESXi tech support mode options. You learned that tech support mode and remote tech support mode are now officially supported by VMware, and there's two ways to configure them. First, I showed you how to configure local and remote tech support mode using ESXi's direct console user interface underneath troubleshooting options. After that, we tested it out, and then I showed you how to configure the same tech support mode features using vCenter and the vSphere client underneath configuration and security profile for that ESXi server. Now it's recommended that you use vCLI, PowerCLI, or Vima for day-to-day -day administration of ESXi servers at the command line, but local and remote tech support mode are now officially supported by VMware and available to perform troubleshooting on ESXi 4.1 servers. Thanks for watching this video covering the new vSphere 4.1 ESXi tech support mode features.